So this is a fantastic day. We're seeing the first uh, set of our brand new train carriages being delivered. Uh, and this is about creating attractive options for active and sustainable travel. It's about tackling the climate emergency. And it's just great to see this happening today. Well, uh, these new trains are, are critical to our plans to increase uh, capacity in our public transport network. It's a key step to uh, grow public transport. It's also a key part of our uh, climate change initiatives as well. The, the carriages themselves will be coupled up with their existing fleet to create uh, six-car walkthrough trains. That will make them more accessible. They'll also have modern features like LED lighting, USB charging points, full air conditioning. The new carriages will bring in around 2,000 additional uh, spaces and this will be an opportunity for, for people to enjoy the comforts of public transport. The new Chains 3 programme is progressing very well. We have worked well with CAF to produce these new carriages. They've been delivered on time. We have also undertaken the refurbishment of the first existing carriage so that these new carriages will be combined into a six-car set. Some of the additional work we're also carrying out at our maintenance facilities and our stabling locations, again, is all progressing and the programme is going as we intended it to. Once these carriages arrive, they'll be coupled together to create the full six-car train. At that point, they'll undergo extensive static testing to make sure all the systems uh, work correctly. Following that, the carriages will then go out and do a number of months of dynamic testing at night to make sure they're fully safe and uh, working correctly prior to the introduction to passenger service. The new Train 3 programme is a very exciting project for TransLink. It's all about increasing the amount of passenger capacity on the rail network uh, because pre-COVID, uh, the network was so popular that we had uh, very busy trains. So this was really the, it's the next phase for Northern Ireland Railways, increasing capacity of the network.